What's good, YouTube? It's King Greco, the king of the chase down. And I got... This is a, this is not like my normal games. This is something I don't like to do. Uploaded fourth quarters only. But look what I got. I got a triple-double, and I got it in like the middle of the... Well, like six minutes to go inside of the third quarter. So that's pretty fast. And as, as you guys can see, I only missed one shot all game also. So this was a pretty beast game. I, wasn't, I was thinking that this might be something that was too good to to not share even though it's only the fourth quarter something I do not like if I see other people with just fourth quarter videos I probably do not be interested because I like when I do my videos I like to tell a story I want you guys to see like how it started what happened when things got hot in the middle and the conclusion a lot of a lot of people they don't do that they just upload like basically montages them scoring the entire game then the game's over you have no idea what happened who won or anything you know but this isn't about that this video is my 555 subscriber video I know most people do 250 100 500 1000 whatever but I'm different I do 555 and 5 is not even my favorite number I'm not even sure if I like 5 but yeah this is this is crazy because I never thought I would get 500 subscribers like 555 that's just wow like I was I was thinking maybe if maybe if, if things went right and I fell into the like I was right place right time I might get 500 with by the end of the year I have 500 in six months and that lets me know that that uh it's not all about the the clickiness as they would say you know like like little clicks or whatever like you you jump into a group you you run around with that group whatever you guys all get popular together whatever I like it's basically just me and my videos because like and my subscribers but also that's it really because uh all i do is i i what i upload i think is pretty good because i do i have like a very a very very like ah, i'm running out of words i have what i like to consider a very diverse game gameplay like i i do all kinds of scores i upload every kind of mode pretty much like i don't really upload association or, or jordan challenges but I upload pretty much everything so I get and also all of it's at like the same level I notice a lot of people out there they will upload one kind of game like they might upload only ranked matches or they'll upload only my player only crew games and so forth and so forth and then there's times when I, I just think a lot of people they don't really put the the work into making the stuff good and I thought that I was taking the time out and I, I guess people realize it and recognize it because they decided to follow me and I don't know, but I, I assume that the, I get, I have a pretty good like to dislike ratio because people are genuinely enjoying the video. And that's what I would hope for, that you guys liked it. Because, you know, if you didn't like it, you know, you wouldn't watch it. And if you didn't watch it, then I wouldn't have, I probably wouldn't even have five subscribers. Actually, actually I started the year off with six subscribers. Six. And at, I first uploaded my first 2K video in December. It was a it was a, a non-commentary game of me playing as the the New York Knicks versus uh, the New Orleans Hornets, and that happened to be a very good video and people enjoyed it. And I got like a hundred views on the first day, my first 2K video, even though even though it was uh, no commentary. And then the next day it did pretty good also, and I just couldn't believe it. I was like, wow, a hundred people saw my video. I was I was expecting to have like. If I was lucky, 10. Because I've been to other people's pages, and I've seen that, is, you know, getting views out there is, is real hard. I mean, for me, lately, I, like, I've been, like, a lot of people, they have to worry about if they have, like, 10,000 subscribers. They'll get, like, 1,000, 2,000 views after, like, a week or, or after a month. They'll get, like, they'll get, like, 7,000 views. But luckily for me, I, I tend to get, like, like, I, I feel like, I'm not sure whether all my subscribers are watching. I'm pretty sure they aren't, because some of you are here for Call of Duty. Some uh, some people are even here for Fight Night, believe it or not. I don't even have the game. But I will be getting UFC 3, Undisputed 3. I have Undisputed 2010, but I'm not sure if anyone wants to see that. But when 3 comes out, get ready for those videos. And, yeah, I've been to my subscribers' pages, well, most of them. Because you know, it only takes a minute, and it lets me know what kind of videos you guys are here for. Because you can tell by what video they watched before they actually came and subscribed, or who they subscribed to before they came to you inside their activity. Like, I've noticed a lot of people, they would come to me either right before or right after, like, Coop or, or um, 
Yeah, pretty much. I say he's like the one that um that people tend to come out like right after. There's been a few people who came like right after they subscribed to you know you know who you know who. And what's it called? Uh, yeah, like they. I'm glad that they are that they think that my videos are at least around the same level or maybe even who knows they might like it more. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not gonna start nothing. But yeah, I've been to I've been to the pages. So whenever a subscriber comments my videos. I recognize that subscriber because I've seen them before, you know. Like, the, like there's a, there's a bunch of names I can mention right now who I've seen on at least like five videos, and like whenever they say anything, I'm like, oh, I know that guy, you know. I recognize him. I know like uh, what kind of thing he's probably gonna mention, like uh, what kind of video he likes more than the others. And yeah, like I said before, I don't really have any clicks, and I don't have any connections. It's pretty much just me, my videos, and my subscribers. And I'm actually growing at a pretty a pretty fast rate, much faster than ever expected. Because there's, there's no really, there's really no guarantee to growth inside this. You could be out for five years and have 100. You, or you could be out for like two days and have 10, um, 1,000. So some of it's right place, right time. And some of it I think, I think is uh, what people would appreciate. They actually want to see a person who's good at the game. Not just uploading just because you had the time to upload it. Or if you're not that good at it, you have to have some sort of other niche. Like maybe, maybe you're funny. Maybe you're rude. Maybe you rage. Maybe you're, you're very informative. I don't know. But or sometimes people just want to see other people fail. I don't. I don't, I don't get it. I like when I first started off. I was. I recorded two NBA Live video. I mean, I, up, I uploaded two NBA Live videos last year, and I pretty much abandoned my YouTube page the day after. But they actually they actually got some views surprisingly, and they were on a dazzle. That's what I used to have. And the thing is, I didn't know that there was a big YouTube community. I thought that that uh, pretty much nobody would want to watch these videos. I thought that I was going to upload the videos and I would go back and I watch it one day in the future. And then I decided to download Draft Combine even though I was a big NBA Live fan. Because I wanted to know what 2K was about. And when I downloaded Draft Combine, I was trying to figure out how do I switch my my player. Whatever, right? Like how do I get a brand new one? Because I didn't know how to restart. So I searched it on Google and it took me to a YouTube video. And I went to the video and I watched it. And I started, I sort of related videos, there were lots of gameplay videos, and I was thinking, wow, people, people watch this stuff? They're actually interested in watching people, other people play games? Like, maybe they want to get tips or tutorials, and I found they were actually watching full gameplays, like, they actually wanted to see, you know, like, the, the person play. And I was thinking, that, that actually does kind of sound, sound kind of interesting, because I've always wanted NBA Live or NBA 2K to have a spectator mode, where you could watch two friends play, kind of like you're in a crowd or something, you know? But so when I found that people were watching it, I decided to upload two of the videos I already I already have recorded. I used to just watch them for myself, record them for myself, and yeah, it was just it was just crazy the experience that uh, to know that there's a huge community out there. I mean, it was mostly you know Call of Duty, but there's other games out there that people enjoy watching, and Live just happened to be one of them. I mean, 2K just happened to be one of them, one of the bigger ones at least. And I when I first wanted to join Machinima. It's because I was trying to grow my channel. It had I had no idea that people were getting paid off of that. I had no idea. That was like like if I could, I'd have them upload my video today and I get no cash out of it at all. I don't want any. I just want to get my I can basically basically get my page out there. And who wouldn't? Who doesn't like growth? If you're staying inside the same spot for a year in anything, whether it be school, work, life, uh, or YouTube, like that's not a good that's not a good look. You always want to advance further in life, you know. And yeah, I just wanted to get views basically, and I I don't know, like I, I think that they kind of owed it to their subscribers to put up better videos because people were really complaining about the the two K video. Like you would always see negative things. I'm like, it's too it's too good of a game for you to have such a negative outlook on it. You know? Yeah, I said that as an NBA live head. If Elite comes out, I'm getting both because I think that every product needs competition. If they don't have competition, what's going to make them have a reason to fix their servers? Or the my player glitches, like that, because they know the game to play. They don't care. It's like whatever, just let it go. But I don't mind because lately I've been playing against Fair Crews, and you guys will see them. I got some exciting games coming on the way. Oh, speaking of exciting games, I have an old Spurs game that I was playing. I mean, that I played in my play. It was a great game, but it came before this game. Do you guys want to see it? Because if you want to, I'll upload it like ASAP. And I thought I thought I deleted it, but I actually didn't delete it. It was just like missing on one of my hard drives. But yeah, so I try to respond to my messages in the comments. I don't, I don't want to oversaturate my comments. That's why I don't respond to every last one of them. Sometimes I go to your pages and I respond there. 
Like, if you guys send me a message, you guys send me something on Xbox, you know, I'm going to respond to you. Like, lately, I've been getting a lot more comments, so, you, like, they don't send me emails about them, and, and when it comes to, when it comes to Xbox, I've been getting a lot more, like, every time I get on, it's like I get a party invite, or, or, or somebody's invited me to play a game, and, like, when I get on, usually it's for, like, a reason, like, I don't, I don't, I don't play, like, you know, hours a day, really. Like, I usually get on late at night, because I, I have night classes, I got work in the morning, and, yeah, so when I get on, it's basically, I'm, t I'm either playing my league games, or I'm playing crew games, or maybe something else. Like, like I don't really just get on just to, you know, wait then. I get, like, a lot of invites. I don't want people to think I'm ignoring them, but, you know, I, I just, I just, you know, it's a lot of stuff to do inside such a short period of time. And check out this team coming back on us. Did you guys see this? We were winning this whole quarter. Now, look at that. We're only down by, we're only up by one. And did you guys see that? I couldn't mention it, but did you guys see them cherry picking to OJ Mayo? OJ Mayo's going, he, like, he's making impossible shots this game. Like it's been hard for me to keep my composure while 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 uh, while watch while ah while watching this video and commentating on this stuff, but yeah, I was pretty much. I also want to mention how seven seconds left, seven seconds left, and Kevin Durant takes that shot. <sighs> but anyway, yeah, I'm, like if, I'm not one of those guys who's gonna, like who gonna say, oh, you know, I'm not gonna change and you get bigger because I won't. I mean, I won't change, but I'm not gonna be like one of those guys who actually do change because they always say that. Then they get they just start acting all. I guess you could say uppity. Or too good, or wait, what the how, what? What? Why was why was Delonte West wide open? Are we really down by one with point seven? I think we have to go for an alley oop. I think we have to. What else can we do? I'm gonna ruin my good. Why he inbounded so fast? That is ridiculous. <sighs> I get a boatload of skill points and I can't do anything with them. That is just crazy. Wow, this like this is this is why, this is why, this Thunder team is so impossible to win with. At times, they don't close out games well at all. But yeah, so there's no play of the game for you, cause and I had I had a great game. What else could I have done? What look at look at those stats. What else could I have done? And especially the field goal percentage. But yeah, so I thank you guys for for sticking with me this far, and watching these many of my videos. And I hope that you guys want to watch more in the future because I got a lot more coming. I have like I have my player games already edited. They just need the commentary. I'm about to put them on and get them to you ASAP. I got the Call of Duty videos ready for you. If like I have other games that I'm thinking about like rotating in. Just, like let me know. Just let me know what you guys think about these videos. You know, if you don't like something, say you don't like something. If you do like something, say you do like it. Only like I I like my subs because they're they're pretty like I should, I guess you could say they're not rude. They're nice and supportive. I don't really come across trolls, and I, I don't mind a person voicing their opinion. But you're a troll if you have, if you say something negative, but you don't say why it's negative. Like you just say, "Oh, you suck your garbage, your crap, whatever." Why? Why the person garbage? Why they crap? So they suck. Why they crap? You know, and let the person know. But yeah, this is probably gonna be the only fourth quarter game you see like that. A uh, quadruple double and a terrible, terrible, disappointing losing effort. Stats wrong, or maybe someone got their numbers mixed up. I don't pay attention to anyone's stats but my own anyway. So why are we talking about the dude I was guarding instead of how many points I put up? That's a much more interesting subject, don't you think? I guess I'll see you guys at 1,000. Or maybe if I'm lucky, 5,555? 5, I mean, 555? Whatever.